7105 Stonehaven Drive we've got a metal roof on the front we're going to check we're going to check the downspouts the gutters the roof I'm going to start I knocked on the door and sounds like somebody's home but uh, nobody came to the door so we have permission to get on the roof so we're just going to go ahead and do the inspection Got my sidewalk chalk that we're going to use to mark any damage that we find. There is a looks like a hell hit right there. Put an arrow right there. You can see that dent. Hell does not always hit the downspouts because they are under the overhang. And hell usually comes down, not across. But sometimes wind will blow the hell. These downspouts look fairly clean. There's a dent right here on the corner, almost up to where that band is. Downspout looks good. A big long downspout there. See what this one looks like. You got two here. Oh yeah. Big gutter hit right there. Right up this. Right up there. If you can see that. There's another one on this corner. Up there. And I'm sure there's some on that one. I just don't feel like fighting my way. Yep, there is about a foot down from that band at the top on the left corner. Another one down a little further. Okay, so we have collateral damage. We already knew there, were hell, there was hell in this neighborhood because we have replaced over a hundred roofs for hell. This is hell. Hell will go through here and cause these marks this guard is supposed to help protect it but if the hill is smaller than that spacing it will go in there but we've replaced over 100 roofs in this neighborhood from the 2014 summer storm and there's been a few smaller storms since then but the big one the one that did most of the damage was uh put that back for you Let's see what we got here. I don't think this is hell. I think that's more from a rock. There's a hell hit right here. Right there on that corner. So, that's awesome. It's consistent with what we've seen in this neighborhood over the last two years. I'm gonna look at this metal roof as well. Um, your downspout thing is not in very well I'll let you mess with that but there's a dent right here um, screens are not in the windows so there's no way to look for screen damage now I'm gonna proceed up the roof Are you kidding me?
walk around to not be on camera. All right, we're gonna go up, we're gonna use the sidewalk chalk to make marks. We're gonna do a 10 by 10 test square on front and back slope. Front can consist of any of the slopes on the front, facing the side or facing the front. As you can see, there's a hill hit right there before we even go any further. Mm-hmm. Gutters have been painted. There's leaves in the gutters. So it's hard to check for hell in the gutters. But you can see that hell hit right there. You can see that hell hit right there. Size of my thumb. Boom. But we're gonna go up and do a test square just like the uh, insurance companies would like us to do. So they can get a consistency test. Now nowhere in your policy, nowhere in your policy does it say there has to be a certain amount of hits. They just like to, there's a hit here, a hit here, a hit here, hits here, hits here. Hits all the way going up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a consistency test. And, uh, but like I was saying, nowhere in your policy does it say you have to have um, a certain amount of hits in a square. They just come up with this number, <clears throat> in my opinion, so they can deny people. But um, we've been doing this long enough and we've talked with enough adjusters and I've got enough buddies that do this that they've told me that at no time is there a, uh, is there a certain number you have to have. They just like to use those. So. But there's a hit right there. And we're gonna, we're gonna see how many is on the ridge. And then we're gonna see how many is in a test square. See the hill hit right there. So adjusters always say, Chad, if there's damage on the roof, it's always going to hit the ridge. So there you go. Small hit right here. But I'm not going. I'm not going to circle that one. I'm just looking for a quiet little place to prop up and do my inspection. Usually these valleys are the safest place to stand. Um, I'm going to circle that one. That's a real good one right there. Um, here's a good one. Here is a good one. Here. Here. Mechanical. 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 Meaning not hell. But let's get up in here. Um, I'm gonna get up here and maybe finish doing the ridges first. Okay. Here's a good hit right there on that ridge. See that? Because the ridge is the, see how that's weak right there? That's hard. That's weak. That's why that shows on the edge. It's like a hell hit right there, too. So. Hmm. See here, same reason there. He'll hit here. He'll hit here. Oh, looks like a good he'll hit right there. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna do my test square back here. Um, this one's pretty clean. This one's pretty clean. This one should have some hits on it. Must come out of the kitchen. It smells good. 
Sounds like we got some cooking going on. Hmm, it's weird. We got some foot traffic up here, you know, some wear and tear from the guys doing the roof, which is common. Didn't mean they did a bad job, just means they had to walk on the roof while they were doing it. And it left some marks. You got uh, you got exposed nails, meaning these nails are, do not have any caulk on them. So eventually water is going to seep through there. Uh, you got some cuts on your shingles. These shingles are uh, fairly in good shape. Um, they should shed the water. Let's just do a test square right here in the middle. Let's go over three foot, six foot, nine foot, ten foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-four down is ten feet. And I'm gonna cross ten feet. So I am making a ten foot by ten foot test square. And I'm looking for hell. Looks like a hit right there. Small hit right there. Now, some adjusters want to see bruising of the mat. It's not called for. Um, that's just a way for them to say it's not bad enough. Kind of like if you're in a bump up in your car and they say, well, your bumper's not that dented. It's either dented or it's not, in my opinion. Um, so when there's a mark, that means hell hit the roof, hell made a mark. Granules are gonna come out over more and more over time, and that is gonna shorten the life of your shingle. That is why you have insurance on your roof, is so that the roof you pay for, or the roof you get when you buy your house, should last you the, the time frame that it says it should, and if some storm or some hell or some wind uh, shorten the life of that, that is what your insurance is for. So it's pretty cut and dry. Adjusters like to throw their opinion in there and say, well, I think this and I think that, but it all basically comes back to science. Um, and science is what determines if you have damage or not. So, and some adjusters are smarter than others. Some can't even climb a roof. So if they can't climb a roof, I don't really value their opinion of what hell is because they're not up there observing after storms and creating their own patterns and opinions. All right, now right here, you got a hole in the roof where a nail has burnt through. Now, in this test square, I'm not seeing a whole lot. I really not. But on this side of the neighborhood, we've done some roofs. We've done that one. I think we did that one. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. I can't remember how many of these we did, but I remember we did that one. Um, Here seems to be an impact but it's just not um, it's not blasted by any means but I remember the hill on this part of the neighborhood getting a little smaller because I've been on probably every house in here just about and so I've been able to create my own pattern based off my knowledge of getting on all the roofs and seeing what I'm seeing and with the help of this GoPro you guys are able to see what I'm seeing as well instead of just a still live picture so on the front, I'm going to have to call this one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Now, let's look and see if the storm came at an angle, which looks like it did because right here is a good hell hit. It is the size of my thumb, it's round, it's a pretty good size hit. One there, one here. Can y'all see that right in there? Um, now this is about half of a square, so they tend to like to see 10 in a square, so being a half square, you should only have to have five. There's a hit right there. You can see the size of the hit, impact, pushed in, granules, right there. Let's just hope you don't get a, an adjuster that thinks he's an engineer. That's kind of maybe foot traffic, but I don't know. 
Um, it could go either way, being on the edge. They don't like to count those, but I can see a round circle here, 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 there, there. One, two, three, four, five. That seems to be a cut. There's a hit right here. The more you stare at it, the more you can see. And it just depends on how much time this adjuster wants to take. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to say the back, the back right equals five. I'm going to say the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back equals seven in a square. See what this right side looks like. Or left side. Facing the back of the house. Uh, looks like there's something going on here. Looks like you got something. See that? I don't know if y'all can see in the camera, but when you rub your finger across it, it dips in and comes back out. So that is pushed in and bruised right there. Same thing there. Uh, probably foot traffic. Could be a hill hit, probably foot traffic. But I think right there. there. Right there, the size of my finger. And when I touch it, see that? See how the granules let go? It's not supposed to do that. That's because it's been impacted. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing of doing what we do when you meet an adjuster is deter determining if it's hail damage or mechanical. So first of all, you gotta stick to the areas that have record of hail hitting the area. Two, they should be in a circular and indented form. Let's see what this front looks like here. One right here showing fiberglass as you can see it's just falling out right there from one hmm a little hit right there too I don't think this house is as bad as other ones that we've been on in here but like I say up to the adjuster if it's bad enough but it shouldn't matter if it's bad or you know if hell hit it and it made marks and you guys want to cash in on a new roof you should be able to that's what insurance is for um one two three four four I want to circle some of these more faint spots, but I know the adjusters will just laugh at those. They always do. So I try to stick to the more pronounced hits. Uh, now this slope ties into this slope. So if there's hits here, hits here, say there's hits here, but not here. That all ties in, so they have to replace the whole front. That's just how it goes. Hit there. Some mechanical damage here. See how that's just too big. That's just too big to be hell. Goes in a line, not hell. Little places where the hammer must have hit the roof. Um, but, you know. Oh, there's a good hit. Here's a good hit. That's a cut. Cut. That's a cut. You can see where the shingle is actually cut. Um, here's a good hell hit right here. That's about the size of my thumb. Which, there was some hell out here the size of my thumb. Golf ball size. That's a cut. Cut. So, as you can see, the front's got some hits here. There, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. I'd say ten on the front. Collectively, between these two 
slope. So we're going to put front equals 10. And I'm going to come down. I got about 10 of these to do today. Gutters are full of leaves, so I'm not going to waste my time inspecting those. But when the adjuster comes out, he'll look at them, and I'll look at them with him. If you can see the impacts, I mean, they're the size of my thumb. All right.